Hi guys, Paul here from Pilgrim Boat Sports and Muscle Car UK. Today we've got the muscle car for you. We've got another fabulous 390 S-Code Fastback 67 Mustang. A lot of people think it doesn't get much better than this to be truthful. This was the same type of car that Steve McQueen made fam famous in the film Bullet. Um, he drove up and down the road of San Francisco being chased by a Volkswagen Beetle, many people think, but, uh, but it wasn't, it was something else. But this is a really stunning car. Um, it's in vintage burgundy and it, it came off the showroom floor in vintage burgundy as well. Now this is a colour that a lot of people absolutely love because it is quite rare. I mean they did make a lot of them, but a lot of, a lot of these have all been changed to Highland Green, which is the colour for the bullet car. But this particular car is absolutely stunning. Really, really great car. The last owner's had this 16 years and has looked after it very, very well. It's, um, as I say, if you look around the bodywork, it's absolutely gorgeous. All the shut lines are good. The chrome's in very good, very good condition as well. I mean, looking at the front of this car, I mean, it is always the front that people think about more than anything else, because this car looks mean from the front. It really does. If you get that in your rear view mirror, it really, really does feel like it's, it's going to come and get you. Um, but I always love the back of these cars as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, just looking at the car in general, you've got here, they're on American racing wheels, as you can see. But if you have a look down the sides, absolutely beautiful. This vintage burgundy really is stunning all the way down through the sides. When you look at this, there's, there's a few differences between the 65 shape and the 67. Well, there's quite a few to be truthful, but the obvious ones we can look at is when you see these like shark fins, which I absolutely love. You've got, I don't know how many here, maybe 10. On the earlier model, you tend to have bigger ones and there's about five of them. So that when you're looking at a car from the side, you can, you can realize this is a 67 or 68 just by looking at the fins on the back because they do have them on the 65, but as I say, they're bigger and they're shorter. But have a look at, have a look at the style of this car from the back. And not, a lot of people sort of miss this point. When you look at this car from the back, it, it really is gorgeous. On the early 65s, you had a boot. So it was a flat boot that came to about here. Whereas this 67, as you can see, it sweeps from the top here all the way down here in a beautiful position. You can look at the back of this and it really does look fabulous. Note you've got a little beautiful nice crease line that takes it down through here. Now, if you look at that crease line and you've got these two lines coming up here as well, when you look at the car from the back here, it looks absolutely stunning. You've obviously got the Mustang script here, the chrome, you've got the, the concave of the back panel here which really does set it up and look lovely. It's got its original bumper on, which is showing a few signs of patina, but again, you, this all can be changed if you want to. A lot of people prefer patina on a car, so that when they get in it, it looks like it's 55 years old and doesn't look like it's come straight off the factory. So sometimes it's, it's nice to see a little bit of patina. But this car, if you really look at it from every angle, whether it be the front, the back or the side, it's just such a sexy car. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now this car is going through the workshops shortly, so once it's gone through the workshops, you can come down, have a drive, see if you like it. What we also have with this car is a Marty Report. Now, people may have heard of this. What is a Marty Report? Well, back in the 60s, there was a lady called Mrs. Marty who used to work for Ford. Now, Ford used to throw all their um, history away. So who bought the car, how it was built, etc., was all thrown away. She was clever enough to go and see for and said, I'd like to keep all this stuff. Such a shrewd move because it's gone down the family and, and out in the States now you can get a Marty report, not for all cars, uh, certainly on the Mustangs, I think it's from 67 onwards, you can get a Marty report because you didn't grab those important documents in time, unfortunately, for the 64, 65, 66. But on the 67s and above, you can get the report on what the car was built with and how it left the factory and how it was sold in the showroom. So here we've got here, a Marty report. Now you can get these from America and we try to get them from as many cars as we can because it shows the originality of this car. We can see from here that it's a 1967. We can see it was built at the San Jose plant. Now the San Jose plant is always a good um, one to buy because it's in California and hopefully the car's spent its time in California with three other factories. Uh, but the San Jose one is the one we prefer because hopefully it's, it's been in the southern dry states, which obviously this car had been in its life. You can see here it's a 390 Ford Ventura V8 engine, which is what correct car that it's, it's got that in it. You can also see that it's got vintage burgundy paint, so that's how it left the factory. It did have saddle vinyl luxury bucket seats, which were like a brown, so I can see why someone changed it black, to be truthful. But again, you can still buy all this stuff. You can still have the saddle vinyl if you wanted it. Um, it was sold in the Los Angeles district DSO, which is a 71, which is on the, the door plate, and, and uh, you can tell that that is where it, where it went into. So it obviously lived in Los Angeles for some period of its time. 
And then you can see the other bits and pieces it's had with it. GT Equipment Group. It had uh, oval white sidewall tires at the time. Deluxe steering wheel, sport deck rear seat. That was the deck that I showed you, the sport deck rear seat. So it was built with that. AM radio, still got that in there. Uh, tinted glass, still got that. So there's a few other things, bits and pieces, but it's such a nice thing to have is to have this as, as along with the car. So you can take this with you and you know that you've got a very original car and, and, and you know exactly where it came from and all about it. Great thing to have. So here we are inside the car. Now it does show signs of patina, this car. And as I said before, some people prefer that. They want that real feel that this car is 55 years old and not just come off the factory floor right now. But this car, being an S-code, has, has still got all its bits and pieces, very original. You see you've got center console here. And you can see it's got the little garage that you can go into there, as I always call it. I think that was for putting your cigarettes in in the day, but um, not so much now. I think iPods and everything else goes in there. But looking at this car as well, it also has its original AM radio. I can't tell you it works, I've got to be honest, but people like to keep that in because it's just a nice feature to have. Also on this, on the roof, you'll also see this roof console, which has two map reading lights, which again was, was reminiscent of the S code. They all had that. Again, you'll see through the dashboard and through the doors, it's got the deluxe interior with the lights in the bottom of the doors. It's also got this stainless steel effect all the way through the dashboard and through the doors. Which is, which is lovely, it does look, look like a proper meaty car. But then we can look at the back and you can see, if I push these seats forward, this is your place where you have your picnic or whatever else you might want to put in there. Possibly a set of golf clubs, depends how tall you are. But then again, if you want to take people with you, these just pop up and there you go. You've got two seats in the back. Now, in fairness, you wouldn't want to go too far if you're, if you're quite a large adult. But if you've got, you know, children, young children or whatever, it's, it's great. It's great to have that option. But a lot of people tend to not use that. But just a lovely car, very original. And again, if there are things you don't like, we can always change. You know, we can change out seats. We can change out dashes and stuff like that. We try and get the cars to be as bespoke as we feasibly can for you. So that when you're driving this car away, it's exactly what you've ever dreamed of. Because let's be honest, they're all dream cars. And we want you to make sure that you've got your dream car and... It's parked inside your garage and you can't wait to use it. But see what we do now, we'll have a look under the bonnet and see what's hiding under there. Well, this is always the fun bit. This is why you're buying a Mustang. It's the engine, the noise, the power. And here it is. This, this 390 unit is a proper, proper big engine and really does go extremely well. Looking back on the paperwork, about, I, I think it's had a restoration circa 10 years ago, body and engine and gearbox. So it's, it hasn't done a lot of miles in that time. So it really is sharp. And, and, and correct. You can see here, obviously a 390, you've got power brakes, you need to stop this thing because it goes like a train. That's got disc brakes on the front. You've also got power steering on here, which is lovely. But as you can see, the condition of all the inner wings, if you can, if you can get the camera in down to the chassis, you can see all the chassis is all very strong. Inner wings are great, not rippled, not smashed. Just really, really good shape, really good original car. And you can even see the paint on the top of the bonnet is absolutely lovely as well. So if you're looking for an S-code, I mean, these have got to be cars that will, will must go up in value. They are, they are continuously getting harder and harder to find. And a lot of people love this 67 shape because it is fantastic. And whether it's a bullet car or you keep it original like this, you can't lose on a fantastic car like this. It's, it's you know, if you look at the E-types and how the prices of all those have gone up, then hey ho, these are going the, the same way. It won't be long to these, these cars are topping over 100,000. So, a great car to have, great fun to drive, and uh, come and enjoy yourself. Come and have a go, see if you like it. Speak to you soon. Well, here we go with the s -code. Now, for you, for you that don't know about the s -code, the s a 390, so it's a big block engine. So it has sort of massive power, just real sort of brute strength as opposed to high revs, just big torque, big power. And you can drive it like I'm driving now, just quite comfortably, just driving along the country roads at a sensible pace. But then you can also put your foot down and it really has got that, that real power to take you away. This does go very well. It's the sort of car that uh, you can just thoroughly enjoy driving at all times. You know, you can drive it relaxed, you can take it for a, a cruise as it were, absolutely fabulous. But you have got that power of that big, big V8 engine underneath there that can certainly lift its skirt up and get going. There's no doubt there. It's a real, really lovely driving car. This car's full of patina. It's even got the original mirror, you know, that's been uh, on there for years. So some of the interior 
is very original indeed. And uh, you know, nowadays when everything's all brand new, I mean, you, you can you can re literally restore this to as new condition if you want it. All the parts are available. But a lot of clients they actually like having the car that shows a bit of wear and tear. And this has got it. There's no two ways about it. It's it, it's it's got all the the attributes in this vintage burgundy. The interior is as it was back in the 60s. You can see that 55 years have been in here. Now the people love that. They jump in. They feel that they're, they're really getting something as of, of an age. But some people prefer it all to be done. Now that's something we can do. We're doing it on a daily basis in our workshop, Mustang workshop. You know, we've got about four or five complete restorations for clients at the moment, body off restorations. So anything you see on one of these cars, it can be sorted. Well, you know, I say it time and time again, you know, if you want the wheels changed or the steering wheel changed or the interior changed, these things can be done sometimes at cost, of course, but a lot of them are quite easy changes. So sometimes there won't be any cost. So that's something we can discuss, you know, when you come and look at our cars. But certainly this car is a real lovely car to drive. Beautiful, beautiful. So hopefully you'll come and see it and you'll enjoy it. <laughs>